I show you this, I just don't want you to judge me. Just go ahead and promise right now. Say, say, Crystal, I promise not to judge you. Just say that, okay? Okay. So, what's up, guys? And happy Tuesday. Your girl just got off of work, and I am heading to the grocery store. This week, I'm going to Walmart just to get a couple fill-in items because I have some stuff in my refrigerator I need to uh, use up and y'all know I love not wasting food so I'm definitely gonna put some meals together with what I have at home so I made me a little list of just like other stuff that I need to add to it so I'm gonna go to Walmart um, get everything that we need and then when I get home you know I'll lay it out and show you what I'm thinking for the week um, but yeah yesterday was Monday and it was Labor Day I was actually off but I got a lot of stuff done in the room sorry if the lighting is off uh, you I just went under that tunnel so, yeah. so it had to get itself back together but yes I went in my room yesterday I got so much stuff like together I can't wait to show you guys what I've did so far and with what I've already done I don't have much more to go and I was say I said in the last vlog that it was gonna take me like three weeks to get this room together but it's not like I'll have it together in no time especially since I went ahead and went in I figured out what I'm actually going to list on Poshmark and sell and what I'm actually just going to donate to the um women's uh shelter and also one of our family members lisa um here on the channel told me that she will give her samples and stuff to the shelter as well and i never like i knew they took items but i always thought it was like hygiene stuff i never knew they took makeup and stuff so yeah i got a bunch of stuff for them as y'all can see so i'll be donating that as well but yeah that's what's going on for today um i am fasting today since yesterday was a holiday baby baked some chicken she was already baking me chicken for the week um but we went ahead and just baked a little bit more and then we added some barbecue sauce to it and we had that with some corn yesterday so no fried foods nothing bad we didn't even technically like go out well i didn't technically even go off my regimen um i did eat some cheesy bread but i even ate that within my calorie limit so normally whenever i eat within my Calorie, lim li calorie limit oh can I talk I don't say it's a treat because I'm actually counting like treats for me is when I don't count or when I have a day where I don't count my calories or track my calories or whatever so yeah now that's what's about to happen um we did get some really really bad news one of my co-workers passed away over the weekend and it was really really sad like she was a really big part of our company so her viewing and her funeral is coming up they said either wednesday thursday or friday saturday for the viewing and the funeral so we're just all kind of waiting to hear back on what we're going to do about that but, but yeah my mom actually worked with her many many years ago and they actually like we're still friends friends on facebook and everything um so my mom was close with her and then of course i worked with her over the last four years and i've known her for a while yeah, so i so pretty much had a really close relationship with her as well but yeah so we're gonna be doing that this week it was really sad and unfortunate she was like out on leave and they thought she was getting better but she didn't and so she ended up passing so it is pretty sad but you know just prayers for her family and prayers for the jump for the jumpity what is the jumpity for our company because again she had been there for 19 years so everybody knew her it was so crazy um so that's what's going on also tomorrow which is wednesday is nail day i'm so excited yeah i'm so excited to be getting these nails done i really don't know what i'm gonna get but i'm gonna figure something out um i also it is past time for a pedicure like past time so i need to figure out a day this week to go and get a pedicure and then lastly on saturday my mama is having another installment of her class reunion them ladies are always doing something like i keep saying class reunion but it's her classmates they get together every every couple of months and pick a restaurant they all meet up and they just have a good time so i'm normally the chauffeur for that event so i will be taking her to that on saturday so we got a pretty busy week because in between all of this i still am recording for you guys and editing and then i still need to make sure that i get the apartment together um we did have another leak so i'm gonna say about that um so it's, just, it's crazy so now the the light in the kitchen is back hanging again they fixed it it went good for a while like this this is my complaint the complaint is not the apartments the complaint is the fact that instead of them going ahead and fixing an issue so they won't have that issue again they patch it up 
or they do like a poor pitch job for it and then here it is a couple weeks later we back in the same boat so yes y'all know it's september anyway and i don't know if i've said it on the vlogs but i know i said it in a couple of videos before i started weekly vlogging me and baby are now on the hunt for a new residence i said i was gonna start in september so yes we are starting i have literally been looking at housing houses and apartments and townhouses like i have looked at so much real estate every day like i feel like i'm a real estate agent like i feel like i can go out and sell houses <laughs> from the amount of work that i put into researching but yeah. the hunt is on um i do want to share a lot of that with you guys but again i don't want to like oversaturate y'all with so many um apartment tours and house tours and stuff like that until it's actually ours so don't worry though because of course y'all know i'm gonna share it with you so i'm gonna go over that with you guys right now we're just kind of figuring what do we want you know are we ready to buy a house should we rent again or like we're just trying to figure that part out the point out. of where do we want to live and actually like you know making it work in our day-to-day -day life now with our jobs where we both work because me and baby both work 45 minutes from, from e each other so it's like i do want us to find a place that you know it's just fair i don't want one person to have to travel longer than the next and all that kind of stuff of course i'm bringing you guys along for that ride with us and you know prayers that we find our dream place or our dream replacement until we find our dream place you know what i'm saying it is what it is but i am definitely already looking and stuff like that so again i know this intro was super duper long but i just wanted to come and let you guys know kind of what this week will entail and you know how today was um i think i said it but if i did not am fasting today um so i didn't eat today and then tomorrow and i will break my fast at 10 a.m so stay tuned to see what i get from the grocery store and then i'll go over this week's meal plan so yeah i'll see you guys in a bit And this is all I bought from the grocery store. I didn't need much, so I just got a bunch of stuff to fill in. So pretty much what I'm thinking for breakfast is I'm gonna do turkey, bacon, and then I already have eggs. So I'm just probably gonna do some kind of like, I think, I'm thinking about doing like a just cheese omelet only and then putting turkey bacon on the side. I may do that. Um, I'm not gonna cook this now though because I do have a couple of turkey sausage links that I had in the freezer that needs to go. So I'm gonna eat those first with that but I went ahead and picked up some turkey bacon because I don't know how many I have and I would rather just have something on hand so I'm gonna have to go back to the store. So I picked up this turkey bacon and I always get the lower sodium kind. It's only 25 calories per slice so I have four slices of that. I did pick up another pack of little Smokies, but I also already have one in the refrigerator. But I do eat these 10 at a time because the serving size is five, and I just do two servings. So that way I know I'm eating enough calories and getting enough protein and stuff. So yeah, I picked this up again and this is what I'm going to eat for lunch this week. Like I am addicted to these things. Like I knew I would be when I find when I found the turkey ones and I'm so glad I did. So yeah, I'm going to do the turkey sausage, uh, I mean the turkey little smokies and then I'm going to do corn on the side. So this will be lunch this week. And then I also picked up my premier protein. I got the caramel kind and I got my favorite iced coffee because I'm feeling coffee this week. I have a pretty busy week even though it's a short week. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to need a little coffee going on. So I'm going to do coffee with caramel. This is my favorite one. Y'all know I tried the vanilla, the cookies and cream, and this one all in one. And caramel turns out to be the best for me and the most filling. So yeah, I'm going to do that with the turkey bacon or turkey sausage and the eggs with the cheese. And then for dinner, baby um, baked me some chicken. Like I told y'all yesterday, she just baked chicken, period. But she went ahead and baked me 
enough for meal prep this week so i'm gonna do that baked chicken and i'm gonna do those mixed vegetables i did have one other bag i picked up but i'm pretty sure once i start pouring out the service i'm gonna need another one so yeah i went ahead and picked up another bag of the mixed vegetables so i'm gonna do baked chicken and mixed vegetables for dinner and then for dessert and y'all already know like y'all knew this was gonna be in this vlog this is just like the smoothies like i'm gonna wear them out <laughs> so for dessert i'm gonna just pick whichever brandy i choose and then for lunch we're gonna do little smokies with corn and then whichever one of those i choose and then for breakfast we're gonna do turkey sausage or turkey bacon with some kind of egg omelet even if i don't do an omelet maybe i'll just scramble the eggs and put the cheese on it you know maybe i'll do that way but it's just gonna be eggs cheese and turkey bacon or turkey sausage and then i got strawberries for some fruit so i'm gonna eat this with my breakfast as well so yeah that's what the meal plan is and then i went ahead and picked up this faye zero percent total greek yogurt because like i told y'all i'm on weight watchers and everybody talks about this two ingredient dough that everybody makes and i actually found two recipes um one is a chicken pot pie bubble up and one is a sausage and cheese i forgot what it's called oh a sausage and cheese biscuit but both of them are only using self-rising flour this um yogurt right here and then the ingredients so, so i went ahead and just picked that up so i can start practicing on my two ingredient dough i already have the self rising flour it's by gold metal so yeah i'm gonna be trying that out so i can do me some different breakfast recipes but like i told y'all i do have a busy week and i have a couple of weeks a couple of weeks i can't even talk i have a couple of nights this week where it's gonna be kind of pushing it so yeah i just went really really simple on meal prep so yeah this is what we're having for breakfast lunch and dinner this so yes guys that's was on plan this week i have a busy week like tomorrow i probably won't even get home to after nine i don't know when um the viewing is the funeral and stuff is so i just want to make sure that i just had stuff that i can warm up real quick and go and not stress about it too much or not spend too much time prepping because i'm in the middle of doing so much stuff but anyway i am in my room and i want to show you guys how far i got when i show you this i just don't want you to judge me just go ahead and promise right now say say crystal i promise not to judge you just say that okay Okay. So I can see the floor. This was a big thing. I could not see the floor because I had just piles of clothes everywhere. So I can actually walk into my room and see the floor. I'm in the process of cleaning out these shelves. There was some silver like tape and stuff that was on there. But I went ahead and took all of that off so I can get ready. And like um, I'm going to use my power drill to tighten up the screws. Because when I did this, I did it with by hand. So the screws are not tight. But now I have a power drill. So I'm going to use that and go ahead and tighten it up as i start moving the furniture around and stuff and then over here is the crazy part so y'all see all this stuff yes sis your girl got way too much stuff now i will say that i think it's these two bags or either these two bags that are full of shoes and then the rest is like clothes that i'm going to be giving away so yeah everything that's in these bags will actually go to the um shelter and then this little thing right here is one more thing that i need to go through and figure out if this stuff to keep or stuff to give away and then everything that i have that i'm selling of course it's nice it's on the hanger it's put up but yeah all of this stuff right here is what me and baby need to transition to the car so that way i can go and take it over and then my desk is still in the same condition because your girl has not started cleaning her makeup brushes or beauty blenders which i need to do because i'll be having to do my makeup a couple times this week so i need to get on it but yeah so my desk still looks the same i found some more palettes that i put on top of there like i need to be stopped and in these drawers right here like these drawers are still full of stuff like i have all kind of palettes and all kind of stuff in here down here is a bunch of lashes i got a furry ball and then some more stuff so i mean i have some real work to do what's in here right here is probably just a junk drawer with a bunch of stuff i see like my old bra stuff so yeah i have more work to do so yeah as you can see your girl is busy like i have to get this room cleaned out i realized that i i wasn't feeling creative or i wasn't feeling motivated to do what i need to do as far as like my business and stuff and it's because i was so cluttered like my mind does not think in clutter so i'm like you know what i need to clear out that way i am able to you know just be able to think and brainstorm and just get stuff done like if i'm not the only one that feels that way comment below because i don't want to feel crazy but i'm that way like if my life is cluttered then i cannot be creative i cannot think i cannot do the things that i need to do and i have so much stuff that i need to do like i'm supposed to be a girl boss and i'm not girl bossing right now because i kept 
procrastinating putting stuff off so i'm so glad that i was able to go ahead and get my butt in this room and get started like i said it's still a whole nother dresser over here that needs i mean a drawer a set of drawers that has a whole bunch of stuff in it so what i was saying was i'm gonna actually go through the samples and separate them like i'm gonna take the bins and separate the bins and make one all makeup and then make one skincare hair care and like body care so that way whenever i take it to the shelter they know which is which and they don't have to like just leave them up there whatever so and yeah i'm just end up giving everything out i need to figure out what's going on in this corner and then i do have a couple or a lot of shoes that i'll be selling listing on my poshmark but for the most part i'm just gonna clear out these shelves clean it down real good so that way i can get ready to move the furniture around so this actually went faster than i thought um last thing i need to do is my closet inside my closet is more clothes so i still do need to go through those clothes um and then for most of those clothes in there though i probably will be selling on poshmark because a lot of this right here was giveaway and i have two bags in the living room that's actually giveaway too i hope i don't forget those because i need to get all of this stuff out of here and then go through the rest of our clothes that way i can put my luggage up and then this being right here i just kind of used it as a storage just like whatever i was finding that was in here and stuff putting it in there so i'll go through that lastly so it's a progress but it is coming along this was my old beauty room one more thing about my mirror like the little mirror slides down like i don't know if y'all can see that because it's kind of blurry but like i can lift it back up but it'll stay up for a while and then it'll just slowly creep and slide on down but see on my christmas list i asked for a new vanity mirror because i've had this one for four years so let's see if i get it <laughs> if i don't get it for christmas it's okay i definitely will be getting it when we move because i technically don't even want to bring my new vanity mirror in here because i won't need it like i'm turning this into an office now now, I am keeping my vanity mirror because I love the lighting on there to do my makeup. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put it somewhere in this area because I'm literally changing this room around and stuff. So um, yeah, it's probably going to be over here and then this little corner will be like a makeup corner whereas the rest of the room will be an office because I still got to do my makeup and stuff in here. Y'all going to see baby crazy hair because she about to go get a haircut and she likes to braid her dress but look what she got going. Half braids, half what? No bald head. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, somebody come in on the vlog and said, sis, I've been doing so good. She said she's dropping weight and she, you know, her hair growing and stuff. She said, so we're not going to do no bald head whole shit. As long I as said, I don't care, all went along right But here. I told her, I said, we're not going to do no bald head whole shit in September. But in October, yeah. we, October the 5th, exactly, we're going to be doing some bald head whole shit. Because we are traveling to where, baby? Louisiana. <laughs> Les Zelle Bon Ton Roule. What that mean, baby? Uh, let the good times roll. Yeah, you know. Good job. Oh, she's so excited when she already <laughs> tell me something. I remember it. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so I'm in here explaining. So yeah, I'm going to move this around. So I'm thinking this is going to be like my makeup corner. Oh, baby, come look. I want to show you my Nikki collection. We well, need to step it up a little more. But look at it. Look at him. <laughs> my little Nikki collection. Mm. I just on on on. Yeah. Um, and she got one more that I want. And then I'll have the full collection. But I'm going to put that probably on my vanity desk and stuff but anyway yeah so this probably gonna be my new makeup corner i actually do want to get new curtains in here because i've had those for four years um i like my pillows right now the way that way that they are but i want fuller pillows to go in them so they can be uh full of oh, she in here looking yeah i need i need some perfume her perfumes evolved from her to herself like it is super cool like look at this one yeah and see that's menagerie that's right. pink friday right and then that one's the new one. queen yeah queen and that's super cool how she everything just changed you yeah but she her. got one more with white hair i want that one so go look it up yeah she always wants some <laughs> so is my wife like she just she just rushed out of here with that Heineken though <laughs> but anyway yeah so I'm gonna bring you guys along more in this journey because even over here in this corner I still have this now with that I am gonna keep that in here because I want to put my wedding dress on it I have my wedding dress in this closet and I want to keep it that was an old dress a company extra sent to me and I never was able to fit it but you know what I've never tried it on since I lost weight Hmm, I'm gonna have to try it on but yeah I'm definitely gonna put my wedding dress on there I just don't know what I'm gonna do um I have some ideas on where I'm gonna put my bench but I'm not even sure what I want to do with that and also 
my tabletop is too big for my drawers. I'm sorry, I was going down. That it's too big for my drawers. It always has been. It overhangs by a lot. So I might be going to Ikea to get a new tabletop. And also too, I kind of messed this one up. It has like a dent in it. So I was gonna buy some contact paper and just cover it. But I'm like, the, the thing is too big anyway. So I may just go buy another one it's called the lineman tabletop so yeah we might be making a trip to ikea soon so i can do that but i want to get everything cleaned out and moved around in here first and figure out what i want i do want a rug in here too but i want it to be an accent rug for whatever color i decide because y'all know pink is my favorite color black and white i do want to keep the room the white and silver because again we are moving in seven months so I don't want to do too much to this room. Like I don't, I do want wallpaper, but I don't want wallpaper here and stuff like that because we're about to get ready to move. So I just need to make this room functional for me until we move. So I'm able to do what I need to do as far as, you know, my girl boss stuff and as far as my YouTube stuff. So yeah, I want to just make it functional. Cause like I said, right now, this was just a catch all room It's pretty. And that's exactly what it was just pretty because I come in here and sit there, do my makeup and then boom, I'm gone. I don't even look through this mirror anymore more i go you know take my pictures and stuff in that mirror in there and i put this one here because it's better lighting in here and my selfies will be lit but i always pal something in front of it so yeah this is just pretty much me just decluttering my space so i can be a little bit more creative so i can record more videos for you guys because now that i'm on a consistent roll i can start adding in more videos because i know before i've always promised like oh i'm gonna do two and three videos a week and granted i have enough content to do two and three videos a week but i just didn't have the space for it and the way this is set up is just not realistic so yeah i'm gonna get everything changed around in here so I can get these videos out for you guys and just show you the content that I want to show you the way that I want to show you because I've learned so much and I want to share it with you guys but yeah this is my room I'm so happy me and baby can do a snow angel in the flow now <laughs> I'm so excited about it but y'all know today is fasting day when I fast I do not work out because you have to conserve your energy you don't have time to be running on a treadmill doing all that extra kind of stuff and then you pass out somewhere because you ain't ate like you gotta be real with this like you gotta be real so yeah i don't work out when i'm fasting um but yes tomorrow workouts will start so i'm excited to show, share with you guys what workout i'll be doing tomorrow Bay. oh somebody walked by with a bun dress i thought that was you uh, so yeah, I'll share that with you guys tomorrow and also you guys will see what I eat in the day Which pretty much I explained it, but I just want to show you it put together I am so stuck on those little smokies like little smokies is my life right now I don't know why I think it's because in my head. I feel like that's not a healthy food But I'm eating the serving size which makes it healthy like it is so crazy And a lot of you guys always ask me like well How do you know what servings are how many how do you know what how many calories is what and it's on the back of the packages like it'll tell you um and i'll show you it'll tell you like on the smokies a serving size is five links so you know if you eat five then you're eating that calories if you eat more than five which i eat 10 you have to double those calories but remember when you double the calories you double the protein the sugar you double the sodium you double you you w you double all of that stuff so i do more detailed how to calorie count for you guys soon because i really do want to like get that through because if i can get you to understand just a basic this is how you count calories then it probably will be easier for you to decide what you're going to eat you know and stuff like that so i'm excited about it. like i said we're going to learn so much in september september is going to be a month of training to get us through these holiday months because y'all know halloween is next month that's candy thanksgiving is november that's food christmas is december that's food then you got new year's coming in january that's liquor valentine's day in february that's liquor so i'm just saying like we got some we got to be ready for these months so september is a training month i'm gonna teach y'all what i know as far as everything so we can stay on our journey it's baby here laughing at me but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and shut up can y'all tell the difference between when i'm fasting and i have a lot of energy and when i'm fasting and i have low energy today is the day that i'm fasting and i have a lot of energy because i'm just like da, 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 da. but it is what it is you talking about me Oh, she in her playing that game. No, no, he just said. What he say? Daddy's back, bitches. Oh no, you can't play that game. He pulled up in his garage talking bitches. Tell my daddy's back, bitches. 
You know what, Courtney over here playing. What's the uh, Grand Theft Auto? But you playing the one online, right? No, I'm playing extra story. Oh. Because they won't let me go online, man. Oh, she mad. I'm trying to get Anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for today. Why I always do this peace sign? That's how I know I'm getting old. I'm always doing a peace sign. Why you? Look, when she, when Courtney got a haircut and her dreads all, you know, hanging out long and stuff, you can't get her to be in the camera. When she look like Pippi and she always want to be in the camera. Mm -mm, I don't look that bad. You don't look bad. Like you could tell you braiding it and you know, whatever, but she just. that old Ja Rule. Remember when he said that one side up? All right, guys. We out. <laughs> So here is breakfast. I have one cup of strawberries, which is 147 grams. And those are the dull strawberries. And then I have a cheese and egg omelet with three turkey sausage links. And then I have 12 ounces of Starbucks unsweetened medium roast coffee. I used to do eight ounces and then I just found out 12 ounces is the serving. So I was shorting myself. So yeah, I did 12 ounces of coffee and my protein shake. And then right there is my third cup of water. I've been kind of busy this morning, so I haven't had, normally I'm on my fourth or fifth cup but that's okay because sis gonna get caught up don't even worry but yes here is breakfast sorry about the lighting y'all know it went out so let me go over the calories for you guys alrighty guys so for the cheese omelet with the turkey sausage and the strawberries that is 310 calories and then for the coffee that is 175 calories so total for breakfast is 485 calories all right guys so here is lunch i have 10 of the little smokies and 95 grams of corn and then i have my favorite 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 cinnamon coffee cake brandy i'm telling you like this is bae like and they keep and like at walmart when i go they don't have the little five pack like i buy the chocolate brownies they only have them in that big thing and like i've been telling everybody about these i love these these are my new bae i still like the chocolate ones but these are so good but here is lunch this water right here will put me at 120 ounces i only have one more to go and i'll be having that with my dinner and that will put me at 144 ounces which is well over um a gallon a gallon is 128 ounces so yeah here is lunch and all of this together with the 10 little smokies the corn the brownie and the water is 310 calories bon appetit all right guys so here is dinner i'm at the nail shop right now about to get and get these nails done so i stopped at crackle barrel my favorite place to eat i got four grilled chicken tenders um a serving of green beans and a serving of carrots and then i have a fiber brownie somewhere floating around here and this is 373 calories including the brownie so let me go ahead and eat and i'll come back and show you guys what my nails are all right guys so it is several several hours later but i have left the nail shop i am tired i am drained today because mother nature decided to show up like one good thing out of this is y'all know i'm doing a surprise weigh-in at the end of september um and normally i will get mother nature then which would have been a buzz because I carry like between eight and ten pounds of water weight when I'm you know on my monthly or whatever 
Um, so that would have been a bust. So the good thing is it came early in the month. I can get it knocked out and, you know, just keep staying on track or whatever. But the bad thing is the bitch showed up. Like, I'm so tired of her coming every month. She is the only person I know that is faithful to just messing me over. Like, oh. <laughs> but anyway, these are my nails. So, yes, this is what they look like. I got baby pink and then we did a marble design. I decided not to get, like, crystals and all that stuff because, for one, y'all know I'm in the middle of, like, decluttering and changing my room into a glam office and stuff and just doing all that kind of work and just actually decluttering the whole house because, baby, we are on the apartment hunt. And as soon as we find a place to stay, we out like if it's before the lease we just gonna pay and get out the lease but if it is after the lease or you know around the lease time then that's perfect too but we gotta go like it's animals outside and because we stay like near a creek area and you know when it rain or just the creek period it has like all kind of bugs and you gotta walk outside and think you're gonna see frogs like i ain't got time for this i'm resting to go ready to go so anyway i know i didn't change like 13 subjects since i've been out here but the food was good from crackle barrel um so tomorrow i'll make sure to show you guys my chicken and mixed vegetables that i'll be eating for dinner since i didn't get to eat it today because i went to crackle barrel because i got my nails done but while I was with Demisha, I also went ahead and booked my next appointment because y'all know she is the best nail tech in Dallas and she be booked up all the time. So I uh, got my next appointment. So my next appointment is October the 3rd, a whole nother month because she was actually booked up further than that. So I'm gonna actually have to like leave work to go get my nails done because I have to get my nails done because I told y'all me and baby are heading to Louisiana on the 4th. So I want to have my nails done before then. And although I love these, I want a little bit more glam fall type nails then so these are my like end of summer nails because it's like the pink and the marble so now i need to go and get a pedicure and i'm gonna actually get this pink on my um toes as well this time just so my toes and my nails can match um and i don't think i need my eyebrows on i think they're doing okay i can probably go another week or so so i'm not gonna trip about that but but yeah baby has left and went to work and i'm just now about to take me a very hot shower and some ibuprofen so i can relax because my stomach is cramping like nine thousand it is so so crazy i've been fasting i finished eating at like 4 20 so i've been fasting since then and i still am gonna break my fast at 10 because even though sometimes when i go when i go into fasting mode sooner than six a lot of people will go ahead and cut their fast off earlier because you know they started fasting early but i just go ahead and ride mine now so i won't be uh, breaking my fast till 10 but i'm so excited to have my coffee again tomorrow because it was so good today it was like what i needed and i was wondering why i was craving coffee because that's what i crave during my month like i crave sweets coffee breads like stuff like that oh salty stuff like chips and stuff and normally um during this time of the month i do allow myself to you know indulge a little bit so if i want some baked chip i'll get baked chips or if i want like cookies i'll eat a serving size of cookies stuff like that but this time i'm gonna actually do good because for one we're in the no junk food no fast food challenge <laughs> um and then for two um my cravings i see if i drink coffee that kind of suffices for me and and it wasn't even like you know my starbucks bad coffee this was actually good it was a protein iced coffee for 175 calories so yeah i'm gonna stick with that and make it through and um actually though me and baby are going for date night on sunday we're gonna go to cheddar's but i already looked at the menu and i figured out i'm gonna get the salmon and shrimp and with rice and carrots and then the treat that i will treat myself to is the broccoli cheese casserole only I don't, it's technically not even a treat because it's only like 200 calories for that serving or whatever so it's technically not but y'all know sundays are treat days and even though it's treat day i still don't eat nothing fried so i do want to like m give myself something good so i don't think that um i'm depriving myself and if y'all can see this camera just going down down baby because my arm getting tired <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end at the vlog for today i have work tomorrow and tomorrow is thursday i really don't have much going on in my book like i had a couple clinics that open got those done got those taken care of the help desk been kind of quiet um and that was 
today was then well tuesday was kind of busy and then today was kind of a good day so hopefully tomorrow is a good day but tomorrow is thursday which is just one more day to the weekend um so i'm super super excited for that so don't know if i'll vlog tomorrow because i don't know what i have to vlog or what i have to talk about but y'all know i'll find something this baby texting me and she at work Oh, she's so sweet. She said she loved me. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead so I can get in the shower and just chill out. Take this ibuprofen so I can get this bitch out of my back. <laughs> and I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. So what's up guys and happy Friday. I am off of work and I'm actually headed to GameStop because today NBA 2K20 came out and I'm gonna surprise baby and pick it up for her. I actually literally have bought her every game every year. So I'm like, you know what? I'm keeping up with the damn games like I play them. So yeah, I'm headed to go and get her that game and then I'm gonna go home and chill out mother nature got me like super tired this week um i've been cramping a lot too which i always cramp really really bad um and then i could take me some ibuprofen a couple days and then you know it taper off but this time i think she's mad at me for real because it hurt but you know what i'm not carrying as much water as i normally would and you know what i think it has everything to do with fried food because I don't eat fried food every day, of course, but I will have it on my cheat day. Um, and so it, since it's September, you know, we're not doing any fried foods, then I didn't have any on my cheat day and I like actually was on track and stuff. So I, I see a difference in my body. I'm not carrying as much water. Like I'm still um, bloated and I have a little bit of water weight on me, but it's not as much as it normally is. So, I mean, I will give her that. She not hurting me on that part this time, but the cramps and everything, like she's trying to take me out. But anyway, enough about that bitch. <laughs> So yeah, I'm about to go and pick up baby's game and surprise her with that. And then I need to start editing this vlog for you guys. Um, today we got the notification of our coworkers funeral. So it's gonna actually be tomorrow, which is Saturday at 11.30. So um, my mama's going because she knew her or whatever. So I'm gonna pick my mom up and then we're gonna go and go to the funeral. And then after the funeral at two, we have lunch with my mama's friends at a Mexican restaurant. And I will like allow myself to eat what I want, but again, no fried food, no junk food. So I will, I looked at the menu and I think I'm gonna do a grilled chicken quesadilla with some rice and beans. And I like, um, well on Weight Watchers, rice is four points and beans are zero. Um, and I need to look up what the quesadilla will be, but I can use my weakness too. And I know a lot of you guys have joined Weight Watchers because of me, and I'm just like, oh my God, hey sis, hey, you know. Um, so I definitely will start saying more, or you know, telling you guys more about the point system and just how you count points and all that stuff. I'll throw it in the vlog along when I'm talking about calories as well, because it really go hand to hand. Like right now, I am doing double work because I count calories and count points when I'm only supposed to be counting points, but I. I do just want to let you guys know what the calorie calories is and then you know just to keep myself accountable to making sure I'm not going crazy because like I told you right now I'm doing between 12 and 1300 calories mostly on the um, 1200 calorie in but you know on days if I'm feeling a bit hungrier or something like that I will allow myself to go up to 1300 calories so yeah that is what I'm gonna do um, I'm also on call this weekend like Oh, it's gonna I hope hopefully it don't be a crazy on call weekend only because I'm like super busy this weekend so hopefully it's not but I did bring my laptop home and I have my my Wi-Fi um, hotspot so tomorrow if I'm at the funeral or whatever and I need to step back or whatever because we have a mandatory call back within 20 minutes so even if I'm like in the funeral and I get a call I'm gonna have to you know call them back or answer well first I'm gonna have to answer and if I miss the call I have 20 minutes to call it back so yeah I'm definitely gonna be like just taking my laptop and everything with me so I can work but yes, your girl is about to just get ready and go home and just chill it on out. I am, like I said, tired. I'm gonna take me a nap. Well, I don't wanna take a nap because I'm the kind of person where I can't take naps. Like when I go to sleep, it end up being a, a whole night's worth of sleep. So if I go to sleep now, I won't wake up till tomorrow. <laughs> and I don't wanna do that because baby work tonight, so I wanna go home and spend a little time with her for a minute. And I know she finna wanna be my friend right now because I'm about to go and buy her this damn game. Like she is so spoiled. I'm super spoiled myself too. Too, but I spoiled her with this game because it's like I got her the game for Christmas like what 
almost four years ago now because this is about to be our fourth Christmas or fifth, fourth Christmas. So yeah, I got her this game, like our first like big Christmas together, whatever. And then I tends to buy this same game every year, every time it comes every time it comes out. Which I need to ask her what she do with the rest of them. Like, can we trade them in or something? You know, just I'm just thinking. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know what I'm wearing this weekend because my y'all know that my room is kind of well actually it's way more organized than it has been so i'm i can go in right now and find anything that i'm looking for so i keep forgetting that your girl is trying to get her life together as far as that which i still need to get that stuff put into the car so i can go donate that so i'm gonna have to figure out sometime this weekend because i will be starting on that closet um hopefully tomorrow when i come home from everything if i come home tomorrow and um I mean, if, you know, once I get home tomorrow, if I'm not too tired, then I'm gonna go ahead and start on the closet and stuff like that. But I do wanna get that stuff delivered. So me and my mom may ride over there tomorrow to drop it off. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna just play everything by ear. It was something else I had to tell y'all cause I was like, let me pick the camera up. Sorry about the light and I'm on the toll road or whatever. Whenever I think about it, I'll let you know. But yeah, I just wanted to come in and say happy Friday. Let y'all know it was a pretty, like of course it was a sad week because we lost a coworker. So everybody's just like kind of taking it or grieving in their own way. But tomorrow is the funeral and it's gonna be pretty sad. I am gonna do my makeup, but I'm gonna do like light makeup because I already know I'm gonna cry. I already cried twice already. So I already know just seeing, you know, just being at the funeral and seeing so many sad people, I know I'm gonna cry again. And then, you know, saying bye to our friend or whatever. So it's kind of crazy. Um, We let all the customers know today. And so the phones were blowing up because everybody was just calling, asking what happened and all that stuff. So now I'm getting lazy with the camera. Y'all can see it going down, down, down. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. And GameStop, here we come. I'm telling you, I better be, I better get, get a good Christmas gift this year. Oh, that's what I had to tell y'all. So, um, you know how you have to learn people. You have to learn how people learn. You have to learn how people love. And when I say that, I mean, just because you are a certain way doesn't mean other people are a certain way. So I'm the type of wife or, you know, friend that I always try to think outside the box and I always pay attention to like little details or I put attention to what you said you wanted and it could be months later that I decided to get it but I always get it just like with this game baby don't know I'm buying it um and she actually told me that she was gonna go buy it herself today so I'm like no I'm gonna surprise her and get it or whatever but anyway I said all that to say I'm the kind of person that like you know the surprises in the out the box kind of person well baby is the kind of person where she doesn't think outside the box she wants you to tell her what you want and for the longest time I used to always be like I'm always telling you what I want and da 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 you know and then I realized like Crystal I can't force Courtney to be who I am I'm the person that thinks outside the box I'm the person you know that does that she's not she wants you to tell her what you want so I took it upon myself and made a Christmas list for her and I put links I put colors sizes of stuff like I just made a really uh, I mean a really I mean I can't even get it out I made a list and although I titled it Christmas list it's really just kind of like a what I want list because I do have something that's on there that's like hella expensive then I have some cheap stuff on there so I made her that list and I emailed it to her and she can use that list for what Whatever. So whatever holidays coming up, or just because gift, Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, whatever, she can use that or reference that list to get me gifts. So I was so excited about it, and then she saw the email, she looked at it, and she was like, "Okay, I see you," and she got excited. She was like, "Okay, okay." So you know, you you always learn, like. People are so quick to, you know, fuss at other people and tell them like, you don't do this, you don't do this. But it's like, you have to take yourself back and ask yourself like, wait a minute, is this something that I do? Like, is this the way I love, the way I learn? Or is this the way that they do it? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I made sense, but I did go ahead. Cause, and honestly, it's because I didn't want to make her no list cause I didn't want it to make it seem like I didn't trust her with buying me gifts. Like, you know how sometimes you make a people, I mean, you give people a list and they just be like, oh, so you didn't want what I was gonna get? You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want her to feel like that the gifts that she bought or that she was gonna buy me was gonna be any less than, you know? But I realized that 
you know, she doesn't know. I'm such a girly girl and literally every day, probably 20 times a day, something comes out of my mouth where I'm saying, oh, I want that, oh, I want that. So uh, I know me and I know I could be confusing. So yeah, I just made her the Christmas list or whatever. So I sent that over to her and I always know what she wants, which I'm so excited about Christmas. I've already started Christmas shopping. So Christmas is gonna be lit. I have decided that, um, I'm not gonna change the colors for Christmas because y'all know the last couple of years I've been doing different colors every year, but I am so ready to move. So, and I'm not buying nothing else for this apartment. So we're just gonna continue. To, I mean, we're just going to reuse the white and silver again this year. I'm just gonna buy like some different kind of ornaments and probably a different uh, wreath for the door and a different mat. But other than that, yeah, I'm not gonna go crazy on the Christmas decor, but I am going crazy on Christmas gifts this year like I'm so excited I've already started like I said so yeah oh and also I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in this vlog we are doing vlogmas and if you're new to my channel this will be our fourth vlogmas I want to say um and it's where I literally will be uploading every single day so you know how you guys are getting weekly vlogs in December you will get daily vlogs which I'm always hella busy because I got work then we got a bunch of Christmas parties and a bunch of stuff that we do at work um and then I'll be vlogging every day editing and uploading so I'm excited though I'm ready I can't wait for Christmas but I know before Christmas comes Halloween and Thanksgiving and Black Friday I wanted to take baby Black Friday shopping too this year but she can't can't get off they're in a blackout so she's not gonna be able to do black friday but we can do cyber monday so i'm excited for all of that stuff and i know this intro is hella long <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i'm heading to gamestop so i'll come back and show you well hopefully i can show y'all baby reaction because you know when i come home she just be always having on boxes in the damn um sports bra she'll never have on clothes so hopefully i can show you her reaction reaction but if not then once she gets dressed, I'll let her tell y'all how she feel. <laughs> Alrighty guys, the goods have been got. So this is what she goes crazy over. NBA 2K20 just came out. It's supposed to be like way better graphics, really good music. The dude was in there really trying to sell. And I'm like, sir, I really don't want to buy this shit. So you better be happy I'm buying these. Well, I'm gonna go this way, hit the back way to go home. Um. But yes, yeah, so I'm excited and it also came with VC which is virtual currency that they can use to purchase stuff in the game And normally I put that in baby stocking every year Um, but this well, I'm actually, you know gonna well, she don't really watch the vlog Well, she watched but she ain't gonna remember but I normally get her VC to go in her game anyway I mean to go in her stocking anyway, so I'm gonna still get her that but this came with some VC since I bought the game brand new So it's still in the packaging. I did get a warranty because if y'all know Courtney baby She would tear some shit up so I got a warranty on it. So if anything happened, you know, she can get it replaced But I know I'm about to be the best wife in the world So I'm trying to rush home though because I really have to pee because I'm on uh, 144 ounces. Well once I finish this I will have had 144 ounces So I'm gonna go put that in the refrigerator because it is a little bit warmer than I want So I'm put that in the refrigerator give baby the game then i'm going to hop in the shower real fast and put on my pjs so i will pick you guys up somewhere along the way all right guys so as expected courtney is naked so couldn't really get her her reaction but baby how you feel she started hollering the neighbors probably think we down here fighting because what I did was I was gonna put it on the toilet seat because whenever I come in she be waking up right so but the what she do is go in the bathroom so I was gonna like sit it on the toilet seat so when she go in the bathroom she'll see it but I had to pee real bad so I ran in and went in there and then as soon as I came out she ran in so I didn't have time so she wanted to start a fight with me so I, I went and shut the bathroom door real fast and then I put it on the bed and then I went in my room and switched it to something real fast. And then when she came out the bathroom, she saw, what'd you say? I mean, did you look right at it? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, cause I kind of put it like right there so you can see it. Cause Courtney can see something and I mean, she can't see nothing in plain sight. It will be right here in her face and she'll be like, I don't know, I don't see it. So I put it like where I know she would see it. So she said, she, when, I, when I first came in, she was like, I'm tired, I'm sleeping. Now she saw the game, oh, I'm gonna play my game. I'm walking now. 
So, mm, so I'm gonna let her play her game. I told y'all I am tired. Mother Nature is whooping my ass. So I'm gonna let her play her game, and I'm gonna just be in my own little zone. Y'all see the TV behind me? I'm gonna tear it up. I really need to get caught up on Walking Dead because the new season is about to come out. So I really need to get caught up. But I know me, I'm gonna start binge watching it, and I need to edit, and I need to get myself my stuff ready for tomorrow so I can be on time. Like I got a lot of stuff to do. So we'll see if I start that, but I definitely will find something else. So, um, other than that, nothing much is going on. It is 4.23 right now, so I'll be getting ready to eat dinner in about the next hour or so. So, that's what's going on. But I just wanted to come and let y'all know I got the game. She'll be on Hush for at least a couple of weeks. <laughs> and before she start asking for something else. That's messed up. Hey, y'all. Oh, she went to put on the shirt for y'all. Yeah, we got to come in the light because it's... Oh, how y'all do it? <laughs> you a YouTuber now. Man, y'all don't understand my life just since today. I told you you're gonna regret beating me up. She beat me up when I first That's walked in the house. Sorry. No, love you. Love you too. But no problem. I'm tired, y'all. So me I, too. I <laughs> Why we keep throwing this peace sign up in every vlog? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, so here is dinner. Oh, it is hot and it is steaming. So yes, what I have is three baked chicken legs and some mixed vegetables. The reason I have three is because I used to eat two chicken legs and I would always wonder, I mean, then I would count it as like four ounces, but I actually weighed it out and then took the bone out because I was like counting the bone within the ounces and you're not eating the bone. So you have to like weigh the bone after. It's a lot for chicken legs if you don't, if you want to count calories but anyway i was leaving the bone in and counting it instead of taking it out so now when i take the bones out i actually count six and a half ounces of chicken so i'm excited because i do feel like i get more filling i did used to get full with the two but i could eat a little more so i'm excited that i'm able now to weigh it out you know take the bone out weigh the meat out and get six and a half ounces so this is six and a half ounces of chicken with um half a cup of mixed vegetables and then I have my fiber brownie and this is a total of 367 calories so my total for today is 1082 and as you can see I have eaten a lot for those calories so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my dinner and I'll see you guys later so good morning guys and happy Saturday we just came from my co-workers funeral and y'all I was tore up like if I take these sunglasses off my eyes are blush I read because I've been crying all morning. Like, I think for one, y'all know, it's mother nature. So I'm a little bit more sensitive than I normally am. And then two, it really is sad. I'm not gonna see her at work anymore. And we're not gonna talk about my nails anymore. And she was a really big part of our company and whatever. And let me stop before I start crying again. But anyway, got my mama, she came because they used to work together, what, 20 years ago? We worked together for 20 years. Oh, they worked together for 20 years, actually. So, yeah, so I got my mama. Um, and so we're leaving the funeral now, and we have about an hour and a half to burn um, before we have to be at lunch because we're going with my mom's classmates today. So, yeah, now we're just riding around. You know me and my mama, baby. We'll, we'll window shop in a minute. We'll run into a no, store. Oh, okay. yes, uh, well, see, me, I'm window shopping because y'all know I'm not buying nothing until I get ready to move. Now, if I see something that I just have to get um, for the house, I will. Now, I am buying clothes because y'all know I'm doing that closet clean now. So, yeah, I am buying clothes and stuff. But I really wanted to go into like Home Goods or Marshalls. I don't know. I got this urge um, to do that. But anyway, I just wanted to come and open up. Um, this morning at working from home was so crazy. Like, I got six calls before I even left. And then, remember when I was telling y'all about the leak in the light in the kitchen? Well, the light actually fell. Not not fell all the way out, but literally, I can see the really long nails. And it's, I'm, it's just, it's crazy. So, I took pictures of everything, went to my apartment office. We are under new management. So, I was able to speak with the people. I showed them the pictures. And, you know, they kind of sympathized. Like, my last people, they really didn't care. But I'm going to give these people an opportunity. It don't matter because we're still moving. But it's just the point that, you know, I gotta, they got to come fix this while I'm still there. So, yeah, I went to the apartment office, got that taken care of. So, while I'm out, hopefully he's in there getting that water up and getting that light fixed. And then, um, 
and then it was something else I had to tell y'all. Oh yeah, and then I just had a really busy morning. I had so many calls. I was even late to go get my mama. Well, I, I did, I was gonna do my makeup and then I ran out of time because I was working this morning. But then and now I'm glad I didn't do my makeup because I've been tore up and crying all morning that my makeup would have had streaks. It would have been a whole mess. So it all worked out for the good. But yeah, now me and my mama just rolling around, seeing what we can get into before we had to head to lunch. And then, um, yeah, so I will pick you guys up and show you what I eat at the restaurant or if we go into stores or if we go to the mall. I don't know what we about to do, but I'll let y'all know. What's up, guys? It is several hours later. I'm actually editing this vlog and realized I never even closed it out. So lunch was really, really good. I stuck to my no junk food situation because I consider chips like, a junk food like I feel like you can have baked chips and stuff like that like if you're going to Subway stuff like that but just to have chips I feel like that's a junk food and it could just be me and so that was like my biggest test for the Mexican restaurant but I made it through I did not have any chips um, and I ended up getting a chicken quesadilla with a side of rice and beans um and it was so so good i really really enjoyed it and actually that was my only meal for today when i came home i did eat a bowl of honey nut cheerios but that was it i finished my gallon of water today oh yeah i did have a pumpkin spice latte when i broke my fast so um this morning like i was saying earlier was really really hectic i don't know what happened and why i had such a crazy on-call weekend because it's been a long time since like i actually worked on my own car weekend like i get a couple of calls you know but never to where i'm just like sitting at my desk getting you know doing a lot of stuff but this morning it was super hella crazy um so i didn't have a chance to do anything like i literally worked from about seven to about 10 ish but I was able to jump in the shower and then I left, went to Starbucks, got me and my mom a drink. And then when I broke my fast at 11, I had the pumpkin spice latte and then that was all I had. And then I had the food that I showed you from the restaurant. And then when I came home, I did want an intermediate fast today. So I was like, oh shoot, I need to eat before six. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna eat a bowl of honey nut Cheerios. So I had me some honey nut Cheerios with some 2% milk. And then that's what I ate today. Now, like I said, tomorrow me and baby are going to Cheddar's. So I'm gonna get me blackened salmon with grilled shrimp, carrots, and then it comes with rice, and then I'm gonna get me some broccoli rice casserole. So that's what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. Um, and then for breakfast though, I'm trying, or I want to try the sausage and egg, or the sausage and cheese biscuit with the two ingredient dough. So I want to try to do that. Um, my dad ended up having to get one of his teeth pulled, so he ended up canceling church um, because he needs to heal or whatever, and he's a pastor, he does the most of the talking. So he canceled church, so I don't have church in the morning, which is like works out really good, because when baby get off in the morning she comes home we normally chill out and then i jump in the shower and go to church and she'll go to sleep and then when i get out of church i come home and get ready for the week and then me and her you know do our bay day well tomorrow i'm gonna get to sleep in with her so i'm excited about that and then once she goes to sleep i'm gonna get up and go get a pedicure because i told y'all before it is time and if i don't go tomorrow it'll be i don't even know when i can go so yeah, I'm gonna go tomorrow and get a pedicure. And then also, the other day I said I don't need my eyebrows done. Yes, I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my eyebrows done too while I'm on this side of town. And then I may dip into like Ross or something and see if I can find something to wear tomorrow. If not, I'll just probably do jeans and a t-shirt or something. Um, Cause me and baby just going to Cheddar's and so I don't have to be like dressy, dressy. But especially since I am got this closet cleaned out, I realized how little clothes I do have now. So I do need to start like um, rebuilding my wardrobe and not waiting until like I don't have anything at all. So I want to start piece by piece and start rebuilding my wardrobe. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, they didn't send any for the light today but good thing there wasn't like a ton of water or anything now it's just the light is there it still works and everything it's just like the the screws that they put in there since the ladies upstairs since her stuff is leaking again it just made the wall just kind of like where the screws come out so it's not it's it's bad like they need to come and do it but it's not like 
crazy or it's not like dangerous for us or anything. So like I say all the time, I do have renter's insurance and none of my stuff is being damaged. The stuff that is like being damaged is their apartment. Like that's their light, that's their light switch, that's their AC unit, that's their walls. Like, hey, if y'all want me to move out of here and then y'all not gonna be able to rent this because it's gonna be crazy, then that's on y'all. Y'all lose the money. As long as my furniture and my stuff is not being um damaged, then it is what it is. And I do have have pretty good renters insurance so if anything go down i'm covered for that so like i said we have new management and it's just it's just crazy i've been over here four years and it is time to go so just get ready because the next couple of vlogs y'all see i definitely will be showing places i have reached out to a couple of people so we can go and see some houses we're gonna go look at apartments like me and baby just gonna look at everything we're gonna look at houses we're gonna look at apartments we're gonna look at townhouses condos we're gonna look at everything and just decide from that point because right now i really honestly don't even know um so yeah but only thing i do know is we getting up out of here and i'm gonna miss my apartment like i told y'all i love the space i love the way the layout is and i just love this apartment period but you know what sometimes you just got to upgrade like it is time it is time so yeah i'm excited about this next chapter and then two me and baby were married like this you know was my place or whatever and she came and joined me so now we get to get something together and something that we both pick and something that we both decorate so i'm excited about the next chapter it's gonna be bittersweet because like i said i really do love this place but i am ready for the next chapter and i'm ready to like you know share that with you guys as well because again y'all have been with us since day one which is so crazy like would y'all have even guessed that me and baby would have been married like i know y'all would have because that's the one thing that everybody says is that y'all see and feel our love and we truly truly appreciate that because that is the one thing that is going to be constant in our life no matter what and that is our love that we have for each other we have both been through so much in our past that now we just want happiness and we are going to get happiness because we're not going to let negative energy or anything around our marriage you know and of course you have people always saying oh and them two sons acting funny if you want us if you want to say that we're acting funny because we want our peace and we want our happiness then hey it is what it is but i just am in a really good place like i said my room is cleaned out i already like feel creativity flowing i got my planner right here so here is my new planner for 2019 2020 and it actually started this month i bought it from ross and it was only 3.99 and it literally goes through december of 2020 and it said prayers and plans so i'm so super excited and ready to plan i did realize that i'm a different type of planner girl like i know i've did a couple of planner hauls on the channel and stuff with stickers and stuff but i'm so busy and i think so erratically sometimes that like i don't have time to actually sit down and do the stickers and stuff so i just realized i'm kind of just a write it in my planner and go type chick like i'm not really the sticker type chick now some months i do have time to sit down and you know do the cute little stickers and washi tape and stuff but for the most part i really see that with my planners i write now i do have a, a good set of pens i bought from target and i really really like them they're kind of like marker pens more pen than marker but they look like marker kind of they're by sharpie so yeah i can't wait to just start like planning stuff in there i have so many i ideas that I got like when I was going cleaning going through the clothes and cleaning up the room and stuff like so many ideas start flowing and stuff so I'm so ready I'm so prepared like these next couple of months is going to be some really good content I finally did what I needed to do and declutter my space and all of that stuff is literally because I lost weight had I not lost weight then I would need to get rid of all of my clothes which is so weird to say that I legit need a whole new wardrobe so it's literally like everything must go including undergarments pjs i need like new leggings like i really realized cleaning out that room all the stuff that i need to do to rebuild my wardrobe so i'm on that hunt of just making sure that i get staples for my wardrobe and plus you know cute stuff it's about to be fall so some cute boots and sweaters and leggings and jackets you know cute stuff like that um and then like i said two men baby are on the hunt for for a new place to live so i know that is going to consume me over the next couple months and then it's the holidays as well so i want to enjoy the holidays and stuff like that so i'm excited for what's to come and i hope you guys are too um this week was a crazy kind of week it's like mother nature came and then our co-worker passed and then it was like 
busy at work a couple days i had like one day where i was just slow um i know i was editing the vlog and i think that was that day thursday actually when i was like oh yeah i'm gonna go to work and chill i don't have nothing no honey one of my clinics called me she was in a frenzy she's like can you get her and get her now so i actually left the office went out and took care of that so it's just been that kind of week or whatever but today is the last day of mother nature she is out of here i know i done pieced it up through this whole vlog <laughs> she is out of here so i'm excited i really i didn't gain much weight and i haven't weighed myself um but i can just tell in my clothing um so i didn't gain much water weight this time so i'm excited i am going to be fasting on monday so whatever little you know residual water weight that i have on me will be off on monday once i finish that fast and then on tuesday we're actually going to top golf at work we have our customer service outing and we try to do something fun for the summer but with everything happening we had to push it back so we're finally going to get to go on Tuesday so Tuesday we got top golf um and what else I can't remember it I can't remember what else I got going for next week and especially right now because I'm sleepy I'm just being honest so your girl is about to get ready and close out this vlog so I can just edit this part and get this up so you guys can see this on time tomorrow thank you so 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 much for all the love and support thank you for your stories of your weight loss thank you for your input thank you for your questions thank you for your um words of encouragement just thank you for all of that like we are over 17k and I just appreciate you all because I'm telling you y'all keep me going just as much as you say I keep you guys going so we're going to continue this like I said this month right here is our training month so we're going to do whatever we need to do to get our habits in place this month so that way over the holidays we won't mess up all the progress that we've made you know up until this point because that's the one thing that I think everybody who loses weight is afraid of of struggling and doing all of this just to gain it back that's why I told you this time it had to to be a total different change for me because I wasn't into that. Oh, well, I'm gonna lose a bunch of weight and I'm gonna gain it back. Like, no, sis, we're not gaining nothing back over here. But I'm so excited. I have a couple of things I want to discuss with you guys. Oh, yeah, I will go ahead and let you guys know that I did not work out three times this week. I only worked out one time. Um, yeah, Mother Nature's had me out for the count. And whenever my body is going through stuff like that, I don't push myself. And maybe I should. I will. I'll be honest, maybe I should push myself to work out and all that stuff, but I don't. If my stomach is cramping crazy, I just chill out and just let my body do its thing or whatever. But I ain't even doing no tripping because next week is a new week and I am going to bust these workouts down. Even Courtney talking about she want to do a workout. She said she'll probably be able to do it one day next week, but one day compared to zero days is a lot, you know? So I definitely will be on a workout tip for next week's vlog. So stay tuned and I'm going to go. I'm going to show you guys which videos I'll be doing. I'll show you guys um, the, the um, I can't even think, the workout that I need to do as far as my weight training and stuff like that. And then I think next week is when me and Nikki are going to go to cycling class, which I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure because I think it's on like Tuesday or Thursday or whatever. But I'll keep you guys updated on that part. I'm tired, so I'm going to go ahead and end out this week's vlog. Thank you guys for your love and support, and thank you for watching. And if you're not, this is your time to go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bell on to be notified when I post the next weekly vlog. And I'll see you guys in a week.